every day I have a nightmare feeling about taking meds. <laughs> but that's just me. And um, it took me a long while to actually accept the fact that I was going to have to have medication. And I really have a huge problem with taking those types of things um, because I, I, I like to have control of myself all the time. By this stage, my pain medication was back up to six to eight tramadol a day to 300 milligram Lyric tablets and around eight messed up for today as well. I'd been in this drug haze for so long, it just felt normal anyway. So um, yeah, so it was, it was an eye opener. It's an eye opener now, exactly how far, not comatose, but how far like I was drugged up to, um, to, to deal with all this pain. The use of medication in the, in the most appropriate way in these situations to, to support all these other things I'm saying. It's a really important concept. When, when people get hurt, they often turn up in the, into a medical practitioner very early on and they're given a med, you know, medications. And sometimes I think the patients see that, that as the treatment. And what we would suggest is, in fact, these things are really great supports so that you can engage in a treatment process. The other very significant thing about medications is you have to look at what we call the pros and the cons, or the benefits and the harms to do with medications. Importantly, it's really important to, if you're going to use medications, to use the things which are preferentially non-addictive and don't do you harm. If we introduce a medication, the first things are we normally start one medication at a time, start at a low dose and go up really slowly. But then we look that in, say, three or four months that we'll be potentially reducing that medication again slowly to see if the person still needs it. So the idea is that if you're already trying to do all the um, holistic um, skills to improve your pain, but that's hard, we can use medications for the idea, we'll use them for a few months, improve where you are, and then we'll try and come off them. And that reduces the long-term harm or risk of staying on a medication for a long period of time. Over over twelve month period, had seven procedures. Um, I had an ep another epidural, um, three facet joint injections, um, a scrape where they went in to to scrape the the scar tissue away. By the end of the twelve months, I was tired of being a, a pin cushion. You know, I want, I, I'm tired of being in pain. I would say to other people that you know, if you have a chance to do something else besides surgery, um, definitely give it a go. Definitely. Because um, once you have surgery, that's the... Um, well, you really don't know whether it's going to cure it or not. And, um, and it may even make it worse. If you're ever thinking about having a procedure, you need to know what's the chance of it helping, what are the risks, and how long might it help for? So those are the things you need to discuss with your pain management doctor. Going forward, we've now got at least 10 different sorts of medications which can be used, which are not opiate-based and are very useful for what's called the neuropathic component or this hypersensitivity component of pain, which often contributes to pain flares. Most of those medications which belong in the anti-neuropathic group aren't addictive and don't tend to do anything bad long term to your body. So the medication provides you with um, some relief from the worst of the pain so that you can begin to move, retrain this brain, build body systems back up to be more and more normal. If you're using med not using enough medication so that you're in so much pain that you can't move, then that's not the best use. If you're using so much that it's hard to think, it's hard to remember, it's hard to drive, you can't do the things you really care about, you're over-medicated, that's not the best use either. So we encourage people to talk to their doctors, find some middle ground and, and with appropriate medications, ones again that are evidence-based is, is the best idea, that are used to then support the person getting back into movement, back into engaging with their social relationships, back into doing the things that they really love, that they lost to pain. Um, and then just gradually I was able to wean myself off everything 
and then um, I've just taken things like fish oil and things like that which is a natural anti-inflammatory and yes when the pain is very severe I do have to take medication and but one doesn't have to rely on it